ultra impressive effort uh, today for uh, for your side. To, right from the start, North Adelaide's uh, well renowned as a strong defensive side, but to your effort there from from really halfway through the first quarter was fantastic. Yeah, it was interesting. Probably felt the first half it was four blocks that North Adelaide had the, the momentum, probably yeah. dominated us for 15 minutes. We thought we'd pegged it back. They absolutely blew us away for 15 minutes of the second, which I think what put us three goals down. Mm -hmm. And then our guys found a way to rally back into the second quarter yeah. and in the second half looked looked more in control of what we wanted to be in control of. I thought your desperation there was players there that I hadn't seen much of before that were just you know, smaller players were just running hard every contest and, and the North guys seem to be always under the hammer after well, especially in the in the third quarter. Yeah, well, it's why they get picked is the like close space well, uh, they're fit and they're quick and competitive. And we knew that if we offered North Adelaide too much time, their skill level is going to stress us. And at times today when that did happen, we could see what they were capable of. Oh. But Tranfer, Nelligan, Lowe, Kelly, Richards, Roker, Stockdale, Rantel, all very good at closing space. Yeah, Kenley, I haven't, again, haven't seen much of your players, but uh, Kenley, I thought, was, was terrific. He was just running everywhere. Yeah, well, losing Matty Nunn's a big loss for us with both the quality of player but the leadership. And Jacob Kenley's assumed the captaincy role over the last few weeks and he's really thrived on it. And right from the outset, I thought he was the one who was putting his body on the line, had some really big contest moments, and he was very influential over four quarters. There's a player I marked down in the last quarter, Josh Richards. <laughs> For a tackle, I don't know whether you mentioned that to the, to the players, and these are stats that are not often recorded. But his effort to, to turn to chase a player, get a holding the ball, the ball goes a chain of uh, um, balls down the ground, and resulting in a, in a goal, I thought was worthwhile to mention. No, it's interesting, Gordon, because that's what we spoke at the players yeah. after the game. Yeah, yeah, Josh Richards is a player yeah. that. He's very consistent for us, and he gives of himself to this group every week, and he's one of our tougher, harder competitors, yeah. and he's got great balance in his game, and some of his individual efforts, along with a few of his teammates in the third quarter in particular, saved certain goals for North Adelaide and started offence the other way for us, so it definitely didn't go I, underrated by us. I know as coaches you don't talk about finals, but, but, but I have in, in my, my um, summary, which is about to be finished uh, soon, but four wins in a, in a row, your effort against the Eagles was really good. How would this one rate for the season? Well, I rate North Adelaide extremely highly for obvious reasons. The season they've had and the way Surgeon coaches them and their maturity and skill level and all that. So we had a great contest with them five weeks ago at Prospect and we couldn't maintain it for long enough against what they were the better team on the day. So I thought our capacity to keep competing and not get daunted or spooked by momentum from North Adelaide is where we've developed as a team. And we know we've got to beat the best to try and be the best. And that's how much we rated today. We needed the yeah. battle competing against North Adelaide to show that we are uh, to match all the teams in the competition. Yeah. And it wasn't just one quarter. I mean, you kicked three, five, five, and I think four. Your, your even spread of goal kickers was, was pretty good too. Yeah, I think we had 11 or 12 guys who kicked goals. So yeah. uh, we do think we're more potent forward. We think we're, by bringing Sermon in, it helps McLean, it helps Jarvis, yeah. it helps Panos. Then we've got Tranf and Milligan and Lowe was small. So uh, we have never been a team relying on someone to kick a big bag, but the spread in that regard, it, definitely makes it harder to defend for sure. And suddenly you've got the depth to your reserves. You probably would have seen mm. a bit of that. Very impressive mm. too, you know, beating a, a top ranked side and yeah, you know, well, you're getting players back too, obviously. Which yeah, helps. so Tahini came back today. Wagner came back today. Uh, I thought Thomas Graham played a really good game. Mac Bow, who's emergency, he's played well. Joel Larkins is someone who hasn't had the opportunity yet. And he's starting to play really well. So any good footy club has always got depth and their twos play the right way. And I was really disappointed in their twos last week and it was an excellent response. Terrific. All right, I think that's, uh, that's fine. Hey, yeah. sorry, just Twig, which wanted to ask you a quick question. You know when North Adelaide get a bit of a run on in that mm. early in that second term, as a coach, how do you uh, how do you deal with a team that, you know, when the, once they get the run on, obviously the players can obviously drop their heads a little bit, but the, our credit to the boys, they stuck to it and, and turned it around. Just as a coach, what goes through the mind? Yeah, well, there's layers that we try and go through with the strategy, but fundamentally we weren't yep. winning it at the contest. Yep. We're getting beat out of the middle. We couldn't win any contest behind the ball and we couldn't find any control of yep. finding a mark. So I don't think we took a mark for the first yep. 12 or 14 minutes. Um, so that was concerning because we'd be able to stifle their momentum for a long time and then within eight, 10 minutes, we'd go up four goals, which doesn't usually all go well when you play North Adelaide. So that was the difference in the game. Our boys been able to deal with the state of the game and find a way to not only meet them, but come back and we were a goal up at half time. So it was a pretty big important, important part of the game. and. It just shows what leadership can do and sticking to a way of playing that we don't deviate from, and but dealing with the pressure of the game. 
And just lastly, so we obviously you can throw a blanket all, all over the whole of the defense, right? But um, just the way Jack Hurd's developed and, and the way he played today and taking you know Ramsey on again and and, and have Gav having the better of him probably this time around. Um, how have you seen his development? I'm a massive Hurd fan. Uh, he was crook this week, yep. and there was uncertainty of whether he'd be able to play. Mm-hmm. But he's a competitor, and he, he was able to deal with not feeling 100 percent and still perform. And I rate Ramsey probably at the moment the best forward in the comp. Yep. So they've had three good battles now since I've been coach at Norwood. Uh, I thought Seymour did a good job of Moore. Mm-hmm. Moore was kicked forward at halftime, yep. and we asked Seymour to do that job. But Donnelly did a good job, and Hilda, Cameron Ball in his 50th game, yep. playing Lockyer, who's a very damaging yep. player, was very good, and then Hamilton, Morris, and Kelly. We're throwing Kelly down there to round out the seven. They've just been a really a tight unit, and yep. they competed well and defended some pretty hot entries. Thanks, Tucker. Okay. Good Joe.